So we're going to cover the Windows 8.1 upgrade. This one is being done on a Lenovo Yoga 13, and there's a few things you need to know in preparation for it. Uh, first of all, make sure you're plugged in and fully charged. Uh, also that you have internet access. Of course, wired will be faster than wireless, but it takes a while to download and everything, so you want to make sure you have a good connection. And you also should have your Microsoft account that you already use to log into your PC. You're going to need that at, near, during the installation, and we'll go over that uh, to where it actually asks you for that. Uh, they're also going to want to need a password for that account, of course, uh, so you can uh, finish the login process. And the last thing is the access to your verification method. Uh, you probably have a phone number registered with them that they can either receive you text messages. In my case, they give me a call on my phone. Uh, an automated response gives me a number. I punch it into this setup, and it allows me to finish the upgrade. So let's take a look at those first, uh, those, two things that, those few things that you have to do during that time. Uh, sorry for the slightly blurred, blurred clip, but here's the screen where they're going to ask you for the Microsoft account. Now, it's already going to use the one you were logged in as, so have the password for that account that, when you started the upgrade. You have to have that, and you have to have this, and that's the verification method, either an email address that they'll send you an email with a code, or a phone they'll call, and an automated attendant will uh, send you a code to uh, type in. So let's go back to the beginning again. Here's it. we are at the store. We're going to download the uh, Windows 8.1. It says the preview, but they just haven't changed out the graphic. You click on that area there, and you'll see you'll go to the 8.1 download. Now, also, like it says here, you, you can go off and do other things while the download is occurring because it's going to take a while. All it's doing is copying all the temporary files to your hard drive, and then from then it'll unpack them and then install them, put them in the right place, replace the other files, and then reboot to go ahead and do the installation. So if you just click on download, uh, the download will start. Now I've skipped through a lot of time here. Download takes about 12, 15 to 20 minutes. And then after it's done, it's doing gathering info. So it's checking out your system, finding out what kind of system you have and all that. Uh, and then that, that takes a while too. And then preparing to re restart is that it's all done. It thinks it's got all the files in correct places. It's just checking everything out before it restarts. Now, what I should have mentioned also is that it doesn't, isn't a bad idea to have your serial number available also because after you've booted Windows, it may want to try and recertify you and uh, validate your copy of Windows. But uh, that, that depends. So uh, after it goes through this, it's going to switch over here and reboot. Of course, now I've gone to an external view. Uh, it's going to take some time to get to here, but it's going to say getting ready first. And then it's going to apply PC settings. Now, I've skipped through all that as well. Uh, we're up, jumped up to 92% here. But it really takes about 10 minutes for that. And then after it goes, does all that, it's going to go ahead and uh, restart the system again. Now, you can't see it again, but that's the Lenovo logo that comes up. And we're going to go through uh, a cycle of we're setting things up for you, a uh, few more things. So once it does that, it's going to go and try and make sure that all the hardware configuration is correct, make sure it's uh, working correctly. And I've skipped past this again uh, to make it go a little faster. This what this part takes about five minutes, at least, at least on the Lenovo it did. So we're going to jump here from 6 to 89, and all of a sudden uh, it's going to jump into the setup program. So well, once it gets in, this is going to go into finishing up the getting ready portion and everything. And it's going to immediately jump into the setup program. And the first thing you're going to see is the license terms. And this is the usual legal stuff that you have to say. And there's a button on the bottom right. It's hard to see here, but you have to agree to the terms of the, of the license, of course. It's hard to see. It's the bottom right there, but there's a, a accept button down there. You click on that, and it goes into the setup. Now, there's a whole bunch of settings up here that uh, it talks about. Uh, oh, automatic updates, privacy settings, and all that. And that's how what Express does. It's trying to tell you, trying to be upfront and honest with you about what's going on if you choose the Express setup, which they prefer you do. But whenever I install software, I always choose custom so I can see each and every option to make sure I understand what's going on. Or, the, or just that I'm anal. But the point of it is that I hit custom, and I read each one of these, make sure I agree with each one of these settings and everything. If I do, just print the next button, Go down these settings to make sure that uh, it's okay to share information. And, and some of these about help Microsoft uh, improve stuff, I actually like that because, uh, well, I'm a Microsoft guy. So I'm going to turn those on, let them help help Microsoft find out what's going on. All these settings are all on. I'm going to skip through this as well and say next on this one so we can continue with the installation. Now, after that installation, here's the part I warned you about. You have to have your whatever account you had. I've already typed in my password and everything, so I'm going to hit enter. 
here's the verification. Now, if you've already set up a couple different ways of verifying uh, your account with Microsoft, in case you love, forgot your password, either by phone or email, you can just touch the bar up here, and you can decide, oh, I want to use uh, whichever method you want to use today. So you go ahead and select that. I mean, it was my phone, so I'm going to get an automated call with voice till it gives me a set of numbers to put in, and I put them in here uh, to do that. Then it's going to go through a little bit more of the setup. There's the talks about SkyDrive is your cloud and everything storage. Uh, nice information, I guess. But really, what I get to is the setup. Now here we are into the next uh, and final part of the setup. So now it's going to say we're setting things up for you. This section takes about another five minutes. Uh, it says talks about getting new apps. Now I skip through some again here. It's going to stay on the screen for, like I said, about five minutes and everything while it's finishing up the setup and everything, making sure that it installs all your apps correctly, all that you had, and that everything is exactly the way you uh, had it before, except for the new backgrounds and some new apps. But what's surprising is that it booted to the desktop and not to the start screen. But that's just temporary. Next time you boot, it'll boot up to the start screen. But there's actually a new setting in the control panel, which you can set that to be permanent. It's in one of our other videos. So here we are up and running. It installed perfectly fine. All my applications are running. Uh, everything was installed perfectly. Uh, Windows uh, looking good. And uh, now we can go out there and check, check all those new enhancements and some of the new programs. Uh, we have a whole series of playlists already on Windows 8.1 new features and some of the new programs, so please check them out. Uh, we Hopefully we can provide that kind of service, but enjoy Windows 8.1. And don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek with over 100 Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 videos.